My name is Jakub Stylinski and I'm a game designer. Sapkowski by some people is, is, is called the, the greatest uh, fantasy writer uh, in, in Poland. Uh, short stories and novels about the witchers uh, are acclaimed, uh, widely acclaimed. The biggest difference of, of what Sapkowski writes is, is that the, the, the adult team, the, the grey instead of uh, black and white, and links to, to the modern culture. The main storyline uh, is, is about 40 hours of gameplay to explore all the possible quests and uh, to visit all the places you need around 80 hours. So World in the Witcher is a huge place to explore. It's a lively place, there are lots of different things going on in the cities. You, uh, you have uh, dynamic uh, weather changes. So during the, the whole game you can make lots of choices uh, in the quests that impact the game later on. And Witcher World uh, differs from other RPGs. Uh, in this world there is no black and white, like in real life. Uh, most decisions you make are are just a lesser evil. You can feel that the decisions you make are, are very realistic and the consequences are very realistic. We want the combats to be easy to learn, intuitive and easy to master. I actually prefer designing a combat for the, for the console because um, of the controllers. It's, it's very easy to, to create a, an intuitive system uh, Geralt is, is the most badass and most pow powerful of all the, all the witchers. The witchers are monster hunters. Uh, they, are, um, they are not normal people, they are kind of uh, mutants. He's sometimes referred to as the White Wolf. The, for the sword combat, which uh, has uh, six different styles, we have uh, six different uh, unique combat styles. Uh, witcher can use different kind of weapons. He can use uh, steel sword uh, against the uh, human opponents. He can use silver sword against monsters. Uh, the sequences are totally new and it gives much more control than in the original version. It's much more dynamic and uh, much more exciting for the player also. For the sword combat we also have uh, signs. A uh, player can learn uh, five signs uh, during the whole game and the signs can be mixed with the, with the sword combat. You, can, you have the full control and you can customize the combat uh, style and the character exactly as you, as you want to. So obviously the controls are, are very different on, in the console adaptation. They are actually better than in the original version. There is a huge difference between the PC and uh, consoles and what PC player expects and what console player expects. We created a completely new combat system that is more dynamic and more engaging. But uh, the main difference is that um, in the console version player has a full control. There are hundreds of, of new mock-up animations uh, in the console version. We also wanted the movement of the, of the character, uh, the main hero and, and uh, the enemies to be more realistic and fluent. So we are mock-upping a lot of, lots of new movement and attack animations. Uh, first of all, hero has a new model, uh, more polygons and looks much better than the, than the uh, PC version one. Also, there are some new um, models for the characters taking part in the storyline and uh, some of the monsters. The console version will look much better. Uh, the console version has a new engine with dynamic lighting, dynamic shadow, normal mapping. Uh, there is also uh, new vegetation. In the console adaptation, enemy behavior will change a lot. Um, there are new behaviors, new actions that can be performed by the enemies. The enemies will move much more dynamically. 
We changed the combat system, we made it more dynamic, we gave, the, we gave players more options uh, in the combat and we also want the enemies to, to catch up, to be much more dynamic, aggressive and lively than in the original version. We will have full support for the achievement and trophy system and uh, for the six axes on the PS3.